Hello and welcome back to Hand of Fate. Last time we did the um, the, the Jack of Skulls, the Jack of Dust, and now we're going to do the Queen of Dust. This is the last boss on the first level, and we have a look Old at our, woman, our, our deck here. We'll have to add some new items. Let's no, just she took up arms, look in the uh, item the deck. Oh, that's a difficulty. That in a country where death had gathered, she would be the one okay, so we've got the Frost Fang. Desperate measures. Anything else in this deck that I want to add in? Uh, medium armor. It looks good, actually. It looks good to me. And yes. Okay, good. Keep that. I'm um, looking counter deck. Um, we just got Desert Storm and Devil's Rage unlocked. Devil's Choice will take out. We'll put in Devil's Wager. But it's new. And we'll take out Ambush. And put in uh, Desert Storm. And we'll take out Dead King's Hall, maybe. That was a lot of loot, though. Screw it. And we'll take uh, the river, because it's new. I'll just put the new ones in. See what they do. Um, if you don't like them, we can take them out. Okay, let's, uh, let's go. Let's do it. The Queen of Dust. Now we play for the cup. The first of my symbols. Right, here we go. Deal the duck. Oh, look, that's the cup on his, on his left, on his right, rather. Uh, is the is what we're playing for and once we get that it kind of buffs us a bit for the I've level two some cards Here we go first card is the maiden not a bad start we'll get a bit of gold blessings bit of gold curses. choose your steps carefully three More gold gold-y. blimey what's well, a real a bit of rubbish card problems. next is the helpful priest okay so that's uh, the priest you meet a wandering priest who greets you in a friendly manner. For a small share of your provisions, I will bless you in the name of the old gods. I'll give him half my food. That's, yeah, screw it. And then we'll see, uh, oh, we can get huge success or three successes. So it's going to be good whatever whatever we do. Uh, we've got a normal success, sadly. And we get a blessing card. Okay, so the blessing card is like a special thing. Uh, whenever the Blessings player uses an artifact, there's a 30% chance of immediately reducing its cooldown by 80%, which is pretty good. But I don't have a ble I don't have a artifact card yet. Next card is the river. This is a new one as well. Now we we spent all our food. We need to get some more at some point. Uh, the path is blocked by a river. The water is clear but fast flowing. Attempt to cross the river. Oh, it's pretty easy to cross. Hopefully we'll get a huge success. Come on. I reckon it's the second one. Ah, uh, first one. <laughs> Your light armor makes the crossing relatively easy. You reach the other side, cold and wet, but unharmed. That's it. He put the, t he put the token away. Ah, oh, we didn't get a huge success. If we got a huge success, we would have got the, uh, the token, I guess. Twisted Canyon. So this is where we get a weapon. Hopefully it's the Frost Sword, which is a new one. If we pass, of course. <laughs> a choice. Select your desire. Yay! And we get a weapon card, which is the Desperate Measures Mace. Okay, that's not too bad. It's better than what we've got. The right approach. And the last one is Every stairs, of course. Consumes food, but you will also heal as you proceed. We need some more food, guys. We've running up for sick. We gave it all to the priest. Treasure chest. New rules. Okay. While exploring a dungeon, you yeah, see a treasure chest at the end of a hall. Approach the tre treasure chest. We can fail here. There's two failure cards. <gasps> no! You move forward carefully, but suddenly hear a click. The room begins to fill with a deadly gas. Attempt to escape the gas. Oh my god, this could go really badly for me. Uh, last one. Oh my god, yes! I escaped the gas. You dive through the billowing clouds to reach the other side safely. You approach the treasure chest. Okay, There's here we go. The you. treasure it's chest looks battered but still intact. What treasure might it hold? We'll pry it open. Okay, we can do this. Come on. Second one. 
No, we can't open it. Damn it. Stubbornly refuse to give to your way to your attempts. You lead disappointed. I am disappointed. Oh, what a sad day. Okay. Mr. Lionel. I'm oh. I'm starting to wonder if you're simply leaving this card in as a quick way to get your hands on a shield. Yeah, exactly right. A shield. Let's give him uh, the bread and we'll get a shield. There we go. It's hard to uh, fight with that shield, honestly. You can't block or counter. Oh no, a rock fall! A terrifying walk to get to the Queen. While journeying near the coast, so you hear a rumble overhead. Falling rocks force you to take cover. Let's dodge the rocks. Oh my god, no. This is bad. Uh, which one? Third. Oh, damn it. While fleeing, you are struck by several rocks. You deal one pain card. I lose five max health. Oh, oh it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Two pain cards. Just when you think it's over, you're knocked unconscious by a large rock. Three gold. And a Your food. No, right my provisions. You press on. I really need that food. Oh, it's a shop. Okay, good. Phew. <laughs> I could buy some more food. Okay, let's buy food first and see what we've got left for, any for anything else afterwards. Let's get five food for 18 bucks. Three food for 11 bucks. And one food for four bucks. So that gives me 17 gold. Anything we can sell? No, we, do we need both of these. Blessings are expensive. Okay, we'll leave. Okay, next card is... Hitch a ride! So we get to go to the next level. Certainly. Oh no, not far out of time, you come under attack. Two monster cards. Oh my god, okay, that's five guys we've got to fight now. Luckily we got that shield. Oh, where did those spikes come from? Whoa. Ah, let's get past those. Oh my god, there's traps everywhere. I don't like this. Go back here, fight them here. Ah, oh, am I gonna get hit? No, they just keep shooting. Oh shit! Very dark out today, isn't it? Okay, one more. Yeah, there we go. Slammed him in the face with my shield. Take that, Sunny Jim. Draw one game card. Five max health. I got my max health back that I lost. You are close on her train. Okay, so more confident which way do we go here? We go. We can skip this one. Let's skip that one. And we will see your true metal. We don't have a huge amount of food. Goblins, no! So they stole. This and they steal my food and gold, and I have to get it back from the goblins. Damn goblins! Two of goblins. All right. So he's got my shield. Damn it, I need to get that shield back, So, because after a while they run away and if you haven't got the stuff back then you lose your stuff. So losing your shield is so bad because it means you don't have the shield and it makes combat extremely hard. So I have to get the shield back first and then got, I've got the shield, good. Killed that guy. So now I can get my golden food back. Okay, got that, and actually, I think you end up with a bit more than you start off with if you kill them all, which is pretty good. There we go. Now, got now after this, um, later goblins have like other mobs with them, and it's really annoying because you've got to try and kill the goblins whilst fighting the other mobs, and then the goblins run away, and all stuff goes. It's horrible. But got a token, which is good. And we go to the next card, which is another rock fall. Oh god. Again, the stones Dodge the rocks. Gone. More pain cards incoming. Let's go with the first one. Failure! No! So draw a bit. Oh, I lose five max health again. <laughs> and two more pain cards. Five gold and 30% gold. Wow. There goes my gold. Another rock fall! 
or a trap. Okay. Lots of rocks falling around here now. Uh, come on, let's get it successful once. First one again, I think. No, huge failure. Oh, God. You slip and stumble into the path of the rock fall. Two pain cards. Fifteen. Oh, dear. Fifteen again. Oh, my God. I'm on 70 life now. And lose a food. And another five gold. Holy crap. No more rock slides, please. Ah, the landlocked lubber. A challenge for you, and a token if you succeed. The, the door to the landlocked lubber opens with a creak, breaking the silence like a thunderclap. Uh, the proprietor greets you. Welcome, traveler. Before I can treat you with, so, with our hospitality, I must ask you a very important question. Have you seen, heard, or God forbid smelled a kraken? No, I've never, I've never seen a kraken. Consider yourself lucky. There is no more foul beast than a kraken. I am Carlo. Welcome to the landlocked lover. After giving you some time to enjoy the warmth and some stale bread, Carlo approaches you. I've heard rumors of a boats of boats going missing from the small village port of Norwich. No survivors, no witnesses. Norwich Port is run by bandits, thieves, and smugglers. There's no way to know what's really happening there. Perhaps you could have a look around and find out more. I would go, of course, but I have this place to look after. Carlo gestures to the empty, damp-ridden flea hole he calls a home, and the card token is now ours. So the token will give us the next part of that quest for the next run. This should be fun. Ah, the Queen of Dust, here we go, this is the boss. Noble causes turn to rotten you have found the Queen of Dust, and we will fight her. You may win this battle, and send the Queen to her rightful end. The Two of Dust is with her. In the process. She's got a, a kind of ballista. We have to dodge. Good thing we got a shield back, because this would have been very hard without it. Uh, okay. Ah, the ballista's shooting, so I press now, and it will... Bounce the ballista bolt back to the ballista. I did take a hit though. Oh, ah! She's tough. Whoa! It's shooting me. Okay, need to bounce it back again. Now! Blam! Oh! I think I got that guy. Oh, I missed that ballista. Good, that's good, that's good. <laughs> Let's pretend to take the ballista out because it's driving me nuts. Oh, we're gonna get hit! No! Damn you, Queen of Dust. Shit! It's going crazy with that sword. There you go, got it. Okay, let's fight her now. Ow! <laughs> Took that right to the face. She dead. I took a lot of damage though. I kind of stuck there actually. Actually. The Queen of Dust beaten. So there we go. That's the last of the three for the first level. Inevitable and we get a couple of tokens. So often those who beat plowshare to sword. And we get the goblet. The which gives us stronger counterattacks, increased stun, Still, better starting gear. Well, but it also increases the damage done by skeletons and I bandits. And bandits and now have throwing weapons, which means they'll be constantly shooting us with with uh, ranged Even attacks. The first of the symbols of my power and past the first gate. There is no turning back now. Previously, I was merciful, but now I cannot be. It is begun. It is begun. I crafted each of these cards. Okay, the what do we get? Years. You have uh, taken them from health potion, moments. healer's ring, and charity. We got. This is for the goblins. We've got uh, time heals and a new goblin card, which is locked. So we can't remove it. God damn it. Uh, and we got the next land lubber quest, which is Smuggler's Wharf. Cool. And we got Jack of Plague, Asleep in the Forest, Mage Tower, and Field of Poppies. Fleet 
cuffs. This is for beating the bandit queen. Armor of cold and a huge hammer. Awesome. Well, there we go. Thanks for watching, guys. And um, we'll start the next level next time. Goodbye.